Heyo everybody, Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens, it's Omni Dog. How's it going? Now, last week with my friend Omni Cat, Kristen, we talked about uh, a book, Scurry. But I'm not sure everybody out there got a chance to watch the show. So I want to take just a couple of minutes, it's going to be a short video because I really, really strongly believe in this book and that you should get it no matter what kind of comic book fan you are. This is that good of a book. It's going to take a really great book to knock this out of my top three for the rest of 2021. I know we're just in February, but this book has it all. It is scurry. I backed it on Kickstarter, but it is available at the artist and writers stores uh, store. His name is Max Smith. And I will have um, a clickable link in my description for you to go to his store, scurrycomic.com. Uh, Max Smith, Mac Smith wrote volume one, two, and three of Scurry. And I will show you lots of art because it is amazing. And it is an amazing story. So, Omnidog, shut up and tell us what the story is about. All right, all right, take it easy. Um, Scurry is about what happens to the animals in a post-apocalyptic world where there are no humans anymore. So it's an anthropomorphic tale where the all the animals have human characteristics, uh, but they are very true to their animal nature. And w what I mean by that is it's about mice, neighborhood mice. So they're used to uh, getting scraps from the humans in their house. First of all, take a look at this art. Let me make sure you can see it okay. This is fantastic art. The first part deals this part. I'm not going to spoil it for you. I just want you to get it. So I'm not going to spoil it for you. But uh, the mice in this colony are running out of food. There's no, there are no humans anymore. Something happened. We don't learn until later in the book what happened, but there are no humans anymore. And in this particular mice colony in this neighborhood, they are running out of food. Some of the peop people, some of the mice on the mice colony want to go to the city where they think more food is, but you got to go through the forest where there are other creatures. And the other mice want to um, stay around the area because it's too dangerous to go into the forest. So take a look at this. And these are all kinds of animals that the mice encounter, even the ones that stay in the neighborhood. We got your um, mice are at the bottom of the food chain. Um, so you have, um, you know, cats and they can talk and they have their own personalities all these mice have their own personalities um, mice and rats band together in this colony so there's a bit of a division in the colony and there it's run very much like a human council um, there uh, they they want to do here see here's one of the cats So they have, um, they go foraging and um, there's tension in the colony um, and there's, there's hawks, there are, and I'm not going to tell you what animals are good and what animals are bad. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself because of course you're getting this book. Uh, now I don't want to show that, that's action and I don't want it to be, okay, here's, now, since this is a realistic telling of what it might be like uh, without humans, uh, even though animals can't speak, in this book they speak, but mice are at the bottom of the food chain, and you can see here, cats are after them. And there are larger predators in the book that go after other predators. It's very much like Lion King, circle of life type thing. Um, any 
there's no there are no there's no human on animal uh violence because there are no humans but this is not a children's book because it can get a little violent um there are scenes of mice you know uh m mouse on mouse violence uh some mice want you know want to leave for the city they plot they assassinate it's not shown graphically he does a good job of not showing it graphically but it's told true to life and it's not bloody at all but it is something that uh kids would not like this is very much much a grown-ups book and it is an action-packed thriller with lots of dry humor and um a lot of animals in it that uh act like themselves as the, as the animals would out in the real world um and <clears throat> the story is there is a great protector of the forest and the forest is in disarray because the great protector has um suffered um uh the great uh, <clears throat> has suffered a personal loss and will not come back until a certain um event happens um and there are there are beavers there are foxes and there's all kinds of things there's a there's character characters are described in the back and it's a three book series book one which is called the doomed colony the colony's running out of food it has to move but is the city the best place for them to move this one is called the shadow's curse you will find my name in here as jess bragg i kickstarted these but they are available on his um <clears throat> they are available on his website as i said um and it's the adventures of um, the mice looking for a home um, and who they run into as they're looking for a home. They end up in the forest. There are forest creatures there, some allies, some enemies. Um, wonderfully written, brilliantly written, brilliantly drawn. This is one of the most beautiful books I have ever seen and these are gorgeous oversized hardcovers that are really, really well priced. You get your money's worth here. Um, you learn eventually what happens to the humans in this book. Here is a chapter end and a chapter beginning. And while I don't want to give the story away, um, I, I will say that there's a, a prophecy to be met before the great uh she's not called the great protector it is she's called okay wait i want to make sure i do this justice he guardian the guardian who keeps the peace in the forest but she's retreated and um okay i can't tell you that because then you'll know here, here's some more art. So it's a thrilling action adventure packed with all kinds of heroic actions uh, by lots of different creatures that will make you uh, excited, uh, nervous. It's a thriller, after all. Excited, nervous, happy with laughter. Um, scared to turn the page because you don't know what's going to happen next um some of the uh unlikely allies are hilarious this one's called the shadow's curse that was book two and in book three you'll find me this is called the drowned forest nope whoop that was two i just showed you three this is two. This is three called The Shadow's Curse. And here you will find me as Omnidog. Two names under that guy from Near Mint Condition, Omar Valdiviso. So 
it's three hard covers, and mine came in beautiful slip cases from Kickstarter. But there is a box set available, well worth your money. I'm not jealous, but I know the appeal of box sets, and they're great. So I will put uh, the uh, link in the chat, I'm sorry, in the description. Uh, as of right now, all three hardcovers are still available at scurrycomic.com. One and two paperbacks are sold out. Uh, number three trade paperback is in stock. You have to get the hardcovers. You will be doing yourselves the biggest favor. This is anthrop anthropomorphic uh, adventure at its finest. And I love anthropomorphic adventure. I dig it. And there is nothing. This is a 10 out of 10. A plus. Five star. Two thumbs up. 20 out of 20. My highest rating. Yay for this book. Scurry. So I urge you, all of you, please go out and get... I'm not getting a cut of anything. I don't even know this guy. But my, the point of my channel is to recommend good books out there to everybody. Uh, obviously, you can't buy everything that I recommend. Um, I, I put out a lot of videos where I have a lot of uh, suggestions. Uh, and you can take one or two uh, from those 10 suggestions and, and see what you think. I have a good feeling what my audience likes. My audience will love this book. And I urge you to get it. It's called Scurry by the amazing Max Smith. The story arc is done in the three books, but he has indicated that there are further adventures to be told for these brave little mice. And I really want you to get it. And I hope you do. And let me know if you get it, let me know what you think about it. Um, I'd be interested in your thoughts. I, I find it um, to be everything you want in a book. Everything. It, I, I've, I, I'm going to be repeating myself now if I keep saying action, adventure, thriller, humor, blah, 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 blah. It's awesome. So do yourselves a favor, uh, everybody out there. Go to the site. Get the books. Sit. They're a fast read. Sit down and read them and just go... That's why I love comic books. Uh, this is why we love comic books. These are great. So thank you for listening. Uh, I hope you can give this a like. Leave a comment if you want. Please subscribe. Peace and love. Peace and love.